to this video at Economics Design. This video, we're going to take a little bit of turn and I'm going to talk about where we are at Economics Design, what are we doing at Economics Design, how have we been doing, and we're looking to hire people to join our team. So if you're interested to be part of the Economics Design team, stay tuned and I'll share more with you. So firstly, what are we doing at Economics Design? We're doing a lot of different research, we're doing blockchain, we're doing DeFi, we're doing crypto, we're doing tokens, we're doing economics, we're doing games. And it sounds very complicated, but what are we trying to do? We're trying to define and measure the GDP of new economies that exists. With technology, we're able to create new markets. And when new markets are created, new value is being generated. So we want to figure out how do we define and measure this GDP. But GDP doesn't exist in a protocol. GDP exists on a national level. So what are we trying to do here? We are trying to define this new term called Gross Protocol Value, GPV. What we try to do over here is to calculate the value that can be generated in a market. Understand using macroeconomics to understand value creation and trade between protocols. Using microeconomics to understand value creation by different people and understanding behavior economics and financial economics to make sense of what goes on within this market that we're talking about. When we talk about defining GDP or defining Gross Protocol Value, GPV, what we're looking at over here is to understand the limits, the constraints in which your economic policies will have a limit. So for example, defining the tokens monetary policy has a limit because you can only define the, the monetary policy of the tokens you create, not someone else's tokens. And when we look at measuring GDP or measuring GPV, what we're trying to do here is to figure out how do we quantify these qualitative economic policies and then put them down as numbers so that we can measure and improve this value that's been created. So this is our goal. This is what we're trying to do. We're doing it in a lot of different ways. So what are these ways that we're working on? We're looking at five different departments. The first one is research. Everything comes out from research. Everything that we do, as you know, is very focused on research. Empirical data, using theories, proving with examples, proving with experiments, we use research to drive any of these decisions and solutions that we have. So that's research. The second thing we do is education. It's, it's a very exciting space to be in. And this space can only grow when we start educating people about the safety, the dangers, the risks, the benefits of this entire new technology. So we focus a lot on educating people. The third one is consulting. So we consult on two core areas. One is play to earn games, blockchain games. The other is decentralized finance, DeFi. We also focus a lot on layer one and layer twos because we see that as macro economies, hence very relevant to this GPV that we're talking about. And we also have the fourth one, which is Econteric. Here, it's an analytical terminal where we want to really measure the gross protocol value that's being generated through all these different qualitative and quantitative metrics that we have created. And lastly, we have a development team to develop all these different things, whether they are a product or they are part of the solutions in the other of the departments. So this is what we have been doing so far. And these are the various departments. And where are we at with all these different stages? Firstly, with the, with the research lab, we have research going on everywhere. Now we're consolidating all of them together so research can be better coordinated. Here we're looking to hire a head of research or a research project manager to manage all of that. And also we are collaborating with a lot of other universities, VCs, researchers, independent researchers, and very, very brilliant people to do a lot of research. This is always free. It's always for everyone to participate and we want to help to bring value to anyone in the space. The second one in education. Here we're looking for community managers, we're looking for people with background in videography, in podcasting, in interviewing people, and journalism. We're looking at a head of editor to contextualize all these very complex content that we produce in research and explain to everyone. Research is nothing if nobody understands what you're doing. So we're looking for those kind of talents in the media space or in the education space. Thirdly, for consulting, we're looking at different economic consultants. Ideally, your background is in economics, finance, or econometrics, data science, and also if you have experience in game design. So if you love playing games and you're a game designer or you have a background in building games, please reach out, really love to speak with you. The fourth one for Econteric, which is our analytical arm. Here we're looking for a head of product. We, have a, we currently have a, a nice size of quant team. So if you're interested in the quant side of analysis, please feel free to reach out as well. So we're looking at head of product, we want to grow our quant team, grow our development team, the back end, front end team, as well as general research for the qualitative team. And lastly, for the development of ideas, this is where we have a lot of internal projects going on within the company. 
and trying to understand how to coordinate between all these different ideas that are coming out from different parts of the company. So this is where development comes in. And here we're looking for head of development, head of project manager within the company. So these are five different areas that we have we are focusing on and different different roles playing different talents working on these different departments and different roles. So if that sounds interesting to you, please reach out and email to careers at economicsdesign.com and we'll get in touch very soon. Till then, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!